The Bible is Black History. Happy Black History Month. This is the time we usually share accolades of excellence, but I'm going to share with you a black experience. And we all, we all have them. Um, this, I'm gonna go back to my college days. And I'm living in an apartment building near the campus. And in this apartment building, there's a laundry facility, but of course the change machine's not working. So I go to a local Walgreens, so I get a couple of items. I get into line, somebody comes behind me in the line. And I feel a shopping cart, <laughs> just pushing, pushing, jamming me, just jamming me. The entire time I'm standing there, I turn around and I look at the lady, she's an elderly white lady, maybe in her 70s. And so I turn back around and I just let this happen. You know, I, I, I know no good can come of this. So I don't address it. And so I make my way up to the clerk as the other people are paying and leaving. And it's my turn to pay. And so she ring up my items and I give her the money and I says, and I'd like two dollars and quarters if you can spare that. Not a problem, she said. But she's visibly shaken, this young lady behind the counter. She's probably a college student too. She's visibly shaken because she has seen this lady this entire time jamming me with this shopping cart. Everybody around at this point, there are people behind the elderly lady standing in line and so they're all witnessing this. So the young, the clerk is visibly shaken. She puts the money in the drawer and she closes it. So she doesn't give me the change nor does she give me the quarters. And so then she apologizes and says, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Um, but the thing is I can't open my register unless I have a sale. So do you mind me waiting on, waiting on her first? And then when the drawer opens, I'll give you your change. I said, not a problem. So she said, you can stand right over there, you know, and she's frightened and I can tell. I said, okay. So I'm moving forward to stand there and the elderly lady takes the cart and rears it back as hard as, hard as she can. And she slams me with it again. And she says, you get on out of here, you It triggered something. <laughs> and so I had a few choice words for her. So at this point, the, um, the clerk pushes her panic button. Now after all this battling of me, she, she, she didn't push her panic button. But the minute I opened my mouth to this old lady, because that just had enough, uh, she pushes her panic button. So out of the back runs all kinds of management and uh, staff. And the young clerk, at this point, tears are in her eyes, and she starts to explain. And, and I'm standing there fuming, but I'm holding back the tears, because again, no good can come from that either. So you, they want to see you weak. So I hold back my tears, and I'm really upset at this point. And um, the people in line behind the old lady sort of embraces the old lady. <laughs> and the management that comes out embraces the clerk. And so I'm standing over there solo, which I'm really the victim here, but you know how that goes. So I'm even visibly shaken now I get so mad about it. So in rushes the police in, in a matter of minutes. And of course I'm standing over there by myself so they rush, rush straight to me. And they, um, it's two of them and they're Tend to, they kind of went on e either side of me, and they say to the um, to the management behind the counter, still behind the counter there, uh, what's the problem? And um, the the management explains, and um, management goes, but it's not her, it's her, and he points to the old lady, and they're shocked and going, well, what could she possibly do to her? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what could this old lady have done to this woman? That's a problem, <laughs> you know, and so. They, they go through the explanation and all of that, and so the police tell me, uh, well, you're obviously not harmed, so just go on. Pretty much like that, but probably not as nice. And so I, um, the management hands me my change, and I go out and I get in my car, and I sit there, just, sh I'm shaking at this point. And I'm shaking with not fear, but anger. So I'm sitting there until I can compose myself uh, enough to drive on home. So, what do I see? But the police walks the old lady out, opens her car door, uh, assists her in the car. Another puts her package on her back seat, and they see her off. Yeah. And I share this story to say this. For all the black people who've had these experiences, and we've all had them, and for all the things that we've seen, that they've done to our ancestors. How do you still hold on to their God? How? Stop it. Just stop it. <laughs>